Welcome to my, I was going to say humble abode, but it's not really my abode, it's my, it's my school. <laughs> I'm in my classroom and to be fair, it's actually looking not so bad. The other day, if you'd been in here, it looked like a bomb had gone off, but I'm slowly getting organised. I've been in most days this week, apart from Monday, because let's face it, who likes Mondays? <laughs> not me. And... God, what day is it today? It's Friday today. So on Wednesday, um, Shirley, my bestie and TA, <laughs> came in and she helped me back all the boards, but we don't have any border because it hasn't come yet. But I've gone for like aesthetic colors this year. I actually ordered my own backing paper and stuff out of my class budget. I was feeling quite extra. I didn't like the colors in the uh, art cupboard, so yeah. I just want it to be really calming in here. I've had such a stressful year this year that I just want everything to be nice and calm. I'm super organized. Can I just like show you my desk? Look, look at that desk. Can we just appreciate how tidy that is? Whether or not it will stay like that is a different story, but I have the right intentions. I've got lots of stuff to do this morning. I'm gonna cut out some of those should I cut out some of those resources or should I print more? I need to think like well, what I can do at home and what I can't do at home. Um, I do have a printer, but I don't want to use all my ink printing school resources. So I might see if there's anything else I need to print. That might be my first job. <laughs> Just like trailing wires everywhere. Um, I mean, my first job probably should be to clear up the rest of this room, but that's like the least inspiring job. I like looking at new resources and getting excited and printing them off. And I'm doing a new year group as well, so that's exciting. I was year six and I have been for a couple of years now. Now I'm year five. So I've got a whole new curriculum, but this laptop's so annoying. <laughs> Sometimes you turn it on and the mouse doesn't exist, so you have to shut it, and then turn it back on again, and then the mouse magically appears. Also, there's somebody on the roof. There's a leak next door. So I can just hear like thumping about. So if you can hear anything, it's literally a man on the roof. Hopefully he won't come crashing in. All right, let's have a look. It's making me feel really uneasy, actually. I'm going to cut off my resources. I've got the wink, winkiest. <laughs> the wonkiest cutting skills. So I'm going to try really hard. I'm <laughs> really concentrating on this. <laughs> try not to mess it up. But yeah, I've gone for like botanical theme because I felt like it fits with the neutral theme that I've got going on in my classroom this year. So next up, I've got these little editing pencils, which I'm going to laminate and have at the front of the class. So like when children say, oh, I've finished, I've finished, I can, I can point them in the direction of these and say, well, have you tried doing this, this and this? There's like different levels of challenge and I can't remember which order I printed it out in. Oh, Charlotte. Modal verbs is year five, so... They must be the year five ones. Right, so I think these are the year four ones. So they look a little bit more challenging than these ones. There we go. Got them in the end. Yeah, so they're the year three ones. Although you'll be surprised, like one of the first ones on here is check your sentence start with capital S at and end of a full stop. There's like this year, even, there were year six children not using capital letters and full stops. Mm, I'll just squash my finger. God, what are they doing up there? I cut out all of these and my now and next. And I've got some like cute little pictures that I'm going to put up on the wall over there. Look what the guillotine did to my thing. So I'm going to try a different guillotine downstairs in the art cupboard which is where the laminating is as well. So I'm gonna pack up my 
stuff and go down to the art room. Hopefully have a bit more luck because I was getting to that point where I was going to throw the thing out the window. It kept just messing up and I was like, oh, it's so blunt. Second time luck here in the art room. Just ignore the fact that it's literally a tip. I don't really know why I'm saying that. It's not like it's my house and I'm trying to make excuses for people. So I'm going to try cutting those bits out. Got all my laminating stuff. I'm going to make some piles. Right, these are the bits that went wrong, so I'm going to try and salvage them. And I've got the laminating sheets. So I need to switch this on in a minute. I need to work out how to do it. Because I used this once when I first joined the school and a flame came out of it. <laughs> So I don't want that to happen again. And I was just, I just panicked. I think it's because I didn't put it inside the card because you have to put it like the laminating sheet within a card and then feed it through. And it just, yeah, it all went wrong. Luckily, um, it still works somehow because I thought I'd busted it, but it's still there. Oh God, that doesn't sound promising, does it? Yeah. Maybe I'll do like literally two sheets at a time. See if that works. Oh, that noise. Well, I'll be damned. That is a clean cut. Whew. If I just round it off, that'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. So I can get started on that. It's not this up. Jesus. <laughs> I do these ones because they take less time to cut out. So if it swallows it and goes all wrong, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I think I need, I think the paper's probably about 80. And then the pouch, it said in the packet. <laughs> Where is it? Look, 150. So, should only need to get it up to 120 degrees. No, I don't want it to carry on going. Oh my God. I'm scared, it's gonna like electrocute me or something still going up oh okay there we go right I'm just gonna put it through and see what happens moment of truth let go a bit now it's just sliding through the other side oh look the temperature's going down a bit now Wait, it'll probably be too cold by the time it gets all the way through. Let's see. It's not so easy to do one handed. Yay, it worked! There's literally a whole room full of seats. I'm with Lily. Hey, Lily. Hello. <laughs> I brought her into school today. <laughs> so last week I did quite a lot. This week I've been really lazy, but today is the last day before the school shuts for summer. I've got really bad hay fever today. So I thought I'd come in for a little bit and do a few bits and bobs. I also, I took all of this stuff home, all of this, 
all this to cut out. Did I cut it out? No, it just sat by the side. So I'm gonna do it today because otherwise it's just not gonna get done. Oh, poop, just messed that up. It's gonna be like a really <laughs> weirdly shaped circle. Mind you, it says I am curious, so it's a curious looking circle. <laughs> we'll go with that. Well, so it looks like I'm talking to myself because you can't see you in the frame. <laughs> So just because, and also because you're behind the laptop as well, it just looks like I'm talking to myself. Hello, love. <laughs> I've not gone insane completely. Well, look, here's a positive affirmation for you. I can do hard things. Can you do hard things, Lily? Yeah. What's the hardest thing you've ever had to do? Do you do? Huh? Do you do? Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy it? Though? No. <laughs> well, you didn't enjoy canoeing. I hated every second of it. I reckon you secretly enjoyed it. And the revival of my building. So was that the bronze award? Yeah. For the Duke of Edinburgh. I am confident. No. No, I don't think I'm confident either. I need to work on that. I always try my best. I'd say I'd say yes to that. Would you say you always try your best? I um, I am thankful. That's something I think everyone needs to work on more, like gratitude in life. It's a hard one, but... And then the last ones are I am kind and I can ask for help. That's a hard one as well. Yeah. I need to take my glasses off because my eyes are just itchy for so much. that it said affirmation station I thought it just said affirmations but I think I've got enough room I might have to move a few bits so I'm back up on the sink again let's move it up like that uh, right I need it in the right order because I've spelt it correctly <laughs> and I don't want to put it up in the wrong order so that's just the kind of stupid thing that I would do to be honest so I don't really want to keep jumping off, so what I might do is I might pile it, put it in like a little pile in the order of the letters. I'm definitely going to move some of them about a little bit, which is fine because there's like a few gaps and a few bits that I want to change. Because I literally just checked it up and didn't plan it out first. Because I know for a fact 
fact, if Gareth was in here, he would be telling me that I've spelled it wrong and I'd be standing there like a lemon trying to work out if it's spelled correctly or not. Affirmation station. <laughs> Affirmation station. Oh my god, I'm making a right mess of this. Now he's got no hat on. Where did his hat back on? Put his hat back on. Cute. What on earth is going on with your hair? I vote that we get the heck out of here because yeah. I've had enough. Although I've made, I feel like I've made more mess than there was before. So I need to just try and get rid of a few bits of mess. Let's take this back. Muscles. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing in there, look. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a weird, weird sight. <laughs> so she has five on my door now.